Hi guys, it's Stacy. I'm actually gonna get up and make sure I'm recording before I do this. The red blinking dot. All right, we're recording. So we're going to do a quick technique video today. Um, this is an awesome project, great for beginners, kids, adults. You can really kind of give this really simple technique a very sophisticated, elevated, vibe so we are going to be doing this triple bowl from gear i went ahead and applied a few decals on here that are going to help us with our technique in a little bit i have a silhouette machine so i was able to cut this out but you can absolutely go to michael's even the dollar tree and get some stickers so we have a little hello fall here and a few leaves I don't really like them totally perfect, so I just kind of stuck them on there wherever I want. And that is going to be our resist for our bowling technique we're going to do today. So we're kind of doing like a modern spin on fall colors. Usually you think like red, orange, yellow. We wanted to elevate that a little bit. So we are using Red Rover, obviously Jumping Jelly, and Jumping Juniper. So it's got this nice kind of deep tone, fall vibes, but not your typical fall. So first things first, we've got these stickers in here. I just want to make sure they're pushed down nice and flush everywhere. If you don't, when we do this next step, some of the paint and the water can get under there. And I want to try and avoid that. I've actually left a few corners a little loose. That way, when we do make that mistake, I can show you how to correct it. So I've got three colors, three cups of, I feel like I'm gonna do a magic trick or something. Three cups of water. And you need straws and Dawn dish soap. I'm 99.8% sure that you can use another type of dish soap. I've always used Dawn and it's fared me well, so I'm sticking with it. All right, so what I wanna do is put the color right in my cup of water. I'm just going to kind of coat the whole bottom of the cup. What I want to do when I mix this is create enough color in the bubbles to see them before I apply it to my piece. That's kind of my little test. So if you're doing this with children, helpful tip, take some scissors and just cut a few little slits towards the top half of the straw. I like to cut like three. Now when they're blowing bubbles, if they, it comes out the side, less damage. So I'm gonna stir this up. I'm not whipping it. I'm just gently stirring it to really kind of dilute the paint into the water. Counterclockwise, clockwise, whatever you want. Doesn't matter. It's your world. All right. Oh yes, purple. Always a good choice. I love this color scheme. I could get a little nuts and maybe throw a little old yellow in there too. Hmm. Maybe we'll do something on the outside. Maybe we'll do polka dots too. I'm a big fan of doing multiple techniques the details. All right, so we've stirred this up so you can see now my water has changed to the color. Da, da, da. One, two drops. Boop. 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 In each cup, oh, bubbles. It's working. All right. One, woo, that was a long one, so we'll just go with one there. Look at that, do you guys see that? It's just floating away. And then I'm gonna stir it up again. So I wanna stir it up so I start to see suds on the surface of the water. I'll give you guys a little close up of that in just a second. And you should see, let's do a close up. You should see the color in the suds. So I'm just stirring it up. All right, three colors, three bowls. 
I'm gonna kind of highlight each color in one of the bowls. So we're gonna give it a nice stir, get some suds. Not turning it into whipping cream, but I do want some of those suds to start to form on top. I love when you get the little tiny sudsy bubbles in here because it's just such a cool look. And especially around my Hello Fall sticker that I've got in the center there, uh, it's got a lot of fine lines and delicate spaces in between the letters, so I want to make sure I get really good coverage with all these bubbles. That noise helps if you do it. All right. Oh, oh. So there's a couple ways you can do this. And depends on how messy you want to get. You have options. So you can just take this, give it a little stir. Make sure you're blowing into the straw, not sucking it out. And now I can use either another straw or a paintbrush and I can shave this off into my bowl. Now what's happening in there that you probably can't see right now is all these are starting to pop. You can even see a little hint of purple from there. I'm going to stir this up again. Sometimes you have to readjust if you feel like it's definitely going to be faint before it's fired. And I'll give you guys a little shot at the end of what it looks like fired versus not fired. But if it's not showing up at all, then add more color. Sometimes you need to readjust. Stir it up really well. I might pop a little more purple in there because frankly, everything needs more purple. Stir it up, make sure I can see the color in those suds. So if I kind of scoop some of these out, they should stand alone and see purple in there. All right, stirry stir. Mmm, mmm. That was straw speak for that looks good. I'm gonna leave that straw in there. Grab a brush. Just shave those off into there. You just keep filling that up as much as you'd like. I'm gonna show you another option, less messy. I embrace the mess, but another option. Oh, look at the suds. They look so good. Make a little dome or like a little ice cream bubble top here. Take your project and stamp it to the bubbles. So you can see some of those bubbles, or maybe you can't, let's get close. Some of those starting to form in there. I want this to be very heavy because that font is so delicate. So I'm gonna keep letting this dry and keep applying bubbles. Cue the fast forward. Again, we can shave it off, let it pop. You can see all those suds in there. Or we can build that little dome and press. All right, I'll let some of those sit. And I'm gonna stir up my jumping juniper. Kind of a mid-range teal. Make sure we use the correct side of the straw. And we'll pop some bubbles. I'm gonna pop a little more color in here. I wanna find that color in the suds. Oh, building all those suds. Oh, this is gonna be nice. I'm excited. I'll give you guys a close up in just a minute.
The nice thing about this though, if you're doing this at home or even in the studio, you can see I'm just embracing this mess all over my tables. It cleans up super easy. All right, give it a little stir. Let's throw a little more color in there. It doesn't actually take a lot of product either. I think I'm probably using less than an ounce per bowl. I like this triple bowl because I can line up my cups. We could get a little crazy here now. All right, let's readjust our cups a little. I'm gonna go for a threefer. All right, oh. now we're gonna get crazy here. One, two, three, four, six. It's happening, it's happening. So it's really just some time doing this. I'm gonna cue the fast forward. I'm gonna spin these bad boys around and keep bubbling. All right, let's give you guys a little close-up of these suds in there. You can see them starting to pop. We'll fill that up, cue the fast forward, and in a moment we'll uh, flip it over and paint the outside. I kind of let the bubbles do their thing. Sometimes I blow on them because I'm easily distracted and I need something to do, but just let them do their thing. Just wait. So I am going to paint the outside of these bowls. I don't remember which color was where, and I could go with that. I'm gonna look. All right, so we have red, purple, and then aqua. I think I'm gonna switch it up. Just so it's one more of those details, I'm gonna switch the colors on the inside. So I'm not gonna do like purple on the inside, purple on the outside. It's just one of those things that I like to think about to just keep it a little different. So we have red over here, so maybe we'll do purple on the outside. We've got a little jumping jelly. I like to keep a nice wet brush. So I'm gonna use my fan and really kind of like floppy. I'm gonna get a nice coat of paint on there. As soon as it starts to get a little dry, I just dip right in. And I'm getting three good coats of paint around this section of the bowl. I'm not sure how I'm gonna transition from bowl one to bowl two to bowl three. I don't just want that big mess right there. So I wanna think about that. I'm not sure I'm gonna do it yet. We're gonna keep painting. All right, we'll leave that there. Purple's in the middle, so maybe we'll do aqua. Whoa. New brush, or you could wash. And the last color, it's teal on the inside, jumping juniper. So we're gonna go red rover on the outside. Again, I'm not too worried about these spaces where they meet. I'm not being my neatest because I am going to do something 
maybe like a little channel of dots, something to kind of make those two pieces, pieces go together. I could use a little water and do an ombre, but I, I think I want to jazz it up a little. Getting three good coats of color on each one of these guys. Jamie's fast forwarding this so you don't have to watch me. I just want to give you guys another little peek at this up close so you can see. I'll remove those stickers shortly, but I want to do a little finishing work. Every project I do, and I always tell all of our friends here at the studio, do your best work, not your fastest work. Now take your time and go in and clean up these rims. Make sure everything's neat and buttoned up. And then this is a project that you really like have forever. You can pass down, you pull it out at parties and at the holidays and people are like, oh, that's so pretty, where'd you get it? And you say, well, actually, I made it. So I'm gonna just carefully run around the rim of this so I have a little more polished, finished look. Let it go right over some of those bubbles is fine. Just here so you can see at home. Just gently floating around the edge there. Now if I want to, this is one of my favorites. We do it a lot here. I can pull a little away from the rim and let us kind of drip down and have a wiggly rim in there. I'll show you guys that up close. Just another one of those details. Just here or there, I'm not doing like really massive drips in there. I just want to give it a little kind of ruffly edge. I feel like drips are one of our signatures. All right, now we're going to rinse and dry that. And we'll do our teal. We'll come back with the last little details. Hey! If you wanted an option for cleaning up the space in between the three bowls, I just wanted to pop on and show you guys what I decided to do. I kind of wanted something organic. It can move easily. It's not a really hard technique. This could be very kid-friendly, family-friendly, you know, mom and kid night or dad night. Um, so I'm just gonna pick one of the colors that's touching and I'm gonna let it just wiggle, kind of embracing that drip on the inside, that same look. And I'm gonna let one of the bowls blatantly overlap the other section. This is just an option. If you wanted to, you could just do a really clean line in between or an ombre in between. I'm just kind of embracing that almost ruffled edge that we were using and going for it. Just let that ruffled edge happen. So we've got something intentional where they meet. Last little step here, just so you can see it up close. I'm gonna use a toothpick. You can use your nails, or if you have a vinyl tool to get these out. And I'll show you guys a quick boop, boop, boop. 
idea of what they look like. Get that. These are junk. Once you do it once, they're done. So peel these up. Get them out of our way. Oh, that looks so nice. I can't wait to show you guys. All right. So now I'm left with those empty spaces. If you get a little bleeding under your sticker, you can take a clean brush. I'll show you guys. Let's get up close. So I've taken a clean, damp brush and I'm just going to wash away and clean up where some of that bled through. I like to always push it towards the outside edge of the sticker because then it just falls right back into itself. We'll clean it up and now we're gonna fire this and I'll pop on and show you guys a little before and after. Thanks. Talk to you guys soon. Like that button. Just kidding. Not really. Like us, follow.